present the oil and gas opportunities of Sierra Leone. So today, I want to go through with you who we are, what we do, our uh, legal and fiscal framework that we are, that we offer. Brief history of Sierra Leone's oil and gas uh, exploration. Our latest licensing round, which was launched on the 18th, from launch to the 30th of September, and why Sierra Leone presents an excellent investment opportunity. So, oil and gas in Sierra Leone is presidential. So, we are directly positioned under the office of the President's His Excellency, Dr. Julius Madadio, who sends his warmest regards. This setup that we have allows us to be efficient and nimble in how we, we operate. So we negotiate petroleum agreements with great efficiency and reduce bureaucracy that is in the best interest of the state as well as the investor. So we work closely with other bodies of government. The parliament, where we send the documents to be ratified, with uh, the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice, where the legal, the legal terms of agreement, uh, they make sure that they ensure that the legal terms of agreement are in the best interest of the state, as well as uh, the investor. And the Ministry of Finance, who ensures that we comply with uh, the Finance Act of 2020. So our mission at the Directorate is to facilitate the optimal exploration, development and production of uh, Sierra Leone's potential petroleum resources for the long-term benefit of its people. We aim to do this, so our vision is to lead the process of unlocking the petroleum sector. So, what is it that we do? We are the sole custodian of upstream and midstream activities for the state. So we create, amend and review our, our petroleum laws. We facilitate licensing rounds and direct negotiations. And we negotiate contract, petroleum contracts for the state. Once a, country once, a, once a company starts to operate, we monitor and regulate operations. So essentially, Petroleum Directorate, we perform the functions of the Ministry, the National Oil Company, as well as the regulator. So in terms of fiscal terms, Sierra Leone's oil and gas space offers excellent and competitive fiscal terms. We have three non-negotiable terms, and we operate a tax royalty hybrid. So the first non-negotiable term is a 10% that the state asks for for crude oil and 5% for gas. Corporate income, term, uh, corporate income tax over 25% and petroleum resource and rent tax, which is a superficial tax based on excess profit. And financial modeling indicates that it's only applicable when the price of oil is above $60 a barrel. And we're in a great time right now because uh, I checked this morning and the price of oil is $125 a barrel. So now's a great time to come into Sierra Leone's um, exploration space. During our petroleum agreement, uh, agreements or negotiations, we offer 10 uh, negotiable terms. Uh, so the key to take from this is uh, Sierra Leone's petroleum agreement is highly negotiable. So our uh, license fees are negotiable. Signature bonus is a negotiable production bonus, training, research, and development funds are all negotiable terms. So um, I want to give you a brief history of uh, Sierra Leone's oil and gas uh, system. So exploration in Sierra Leone started in the 80s with two wells drilled by Amoco and Mogo. Over the years, we've drilled a total of eight wells with four discoveries made. The first being in 2009, by Anadako, which was drilled to a water depth of 1,800 meters. The second in 2010, again by Anadako, drilled to water depths of 1,600 meters, and they found 41 meters of net oil pay. And then followed Jupiter 1 in 2012, again in Anadako, and finally Savannah 1X in 2013 by Lucon. So what we've observed is, on average, it takes uh, 53 days or 52.3 days to drill a well, 
at a cost in um, at a cost of sixty million dollars, and this was back in two thousand and thirteen when the last well was drilled. But now we are estimating a well to be drilled at thirty million dollars. Sierra Leone offers great data coverage as our entire basin is covered with 2D and 3D data. We also have uh, numerous well reports for all the eight wells drilled. And we have other supplementary data packages. So we've recently launched our latest licensing round in, in London um, on the 18th of May. And what's on offer is over 63,500 square kilometers of acreage for prospective companies to bid for. So what we see there on the map is the red area is uh, occupied by Nigeria's very own innocent oil and gas. We announced some uh, fantastic results and news um, a few weeks ago. And what's on offer is uh, the orange and the pink acreage. For, for the licensing round. The green, the green side of the acreage is up, it's ultra deep water, and that's up for direct negotiations. And this can be found with our technical partners, uh, CGS, who are based in London, Houston, and in Sierra Leone. So our, our, the relationship between the state and any investor is governed by the Petroleum Exploration and Production Act of 2011. So this uh, covers resource ownership, fiscal regime, uh, health, health and safety, uh, HSE and social impact, uh, and a few other rules and regulations. We offer three types of petroleum rice. A reconnaissance license, which is valid for up to uh, two years, and a full exploration and production license, which is up to 30 years. And we give an exploration phase of uh, seven years. So for any companies that are interested in uh, applying for exploration production license in Sierra Leone, there are, I know it shows this, uh, 12 steps, but there are seven simple steps to apply for a license. So what a company needs to do is lodge an application for pre-qualification with the work program, the technical capabilities, financial capabilities, and the HSE capabilities. And thereon, we offer a notice of qualification within 10 business days of, of that uh, application. So the NOC comes in, we invite the NOC for negotiations, and upon success, successful negotiations, we offer a, a provisional license. We then send a draft contract to the, to the IOC for a no objection. Once we receive the no objection, we then send the, petrol, the draft petroleum agreement to a Ministry of Finance and Attorney General Ministry of Justice for their no objection. And then we sign with the IOC and we lodge that document, that application to, to our parliament for ratification. So from application to a word of license or ratification, we, uh, we estimate for it to take 85 calendar days. So you, you will appreciate that this is a very nimble, efficient, and quick process in terms of a license award. So in conclusion, I invite prospective investors uh, from Nigeria. The last licensing round saw Innocent Oil and Gas uh, offer nine, nine blocks. Uh, we are politically stable. We've got great data coverage. We have a proven and working petroleum system. We, ex we offer excellent fiscal terms. We have a predictable regulatory framework, and um, Sierra Leone is open for business in oil and gas. So I thank everyone for listening, and if there are any forthcoming questions, I'll be more than delighted and happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much.